Okay, hello, look at oh shit. Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. My name's Golden Sheep. Last time we collected lots of shines in Rico Harbor and unlocked the turbo nozzle right at the end, which is really fun to play around with, as I was just doing then. Anyway, this one, no more wasting time. Let's go back into Rico Harbor and collect stuff. Starting with episode 5, Glooper Blooper Returns. As I said, you'll fight this guy three times. Although, ne next time we fight him is going to be a long time away. How many times did I say time in that sentence? That's it. I'm going to stop saying now. I almost said it again. Any- oh, I'm trying to do this one Anyway, so, this mission, starting off, something to talk about. It, um, what was it now? Two days ago, we, whoa, that's cool. Me and, okay. This is, this talking is going great, by the way. I know I'm doing another episode of that, that the last one, right? I'm ignoring it. Anyway, two days ago, me and my friend from high school went to cinema. And, I don't know, just thinking about, whoa. Ah, oh, okay, I missed it. Just thinking about... Whoa, that tentacle would totally... Freaking... Looper, stop it. Wait, I'm gonna have to wait for him again. This is not a hard fight! Just gotta get my jump right. Anyway, so it's like... Finished high school now, as I said, and that makes me happy, but... I'm not gonna say I'm gonna miss it, but... It's kinda weird, when you leave high school... Like... The world you know is always big. You go in five days a week and you're able to do work and see your friends. And I'm going to college starting sometime in September. Can I balls? Can I balls? Fuck you, blooper. Freaking. Right, I need to pull your nose so your eyes look. Oh, that was painful. Fucking hell, come on now. You know what? Fuck you. I'm pulling your arms off. Or your tentacles, whatever. This one always takes me a long time. Just got this bastard dump. Turn his eyes purple. Anyway, it's just weird to think that it's going to. Like, people you've been friends with for five years minimum. Like, if you'd known them in primary school. Like, you probably. Unless you're going into the same. Like, course in college. You're not going to see him again. And. I don't know, it's a bit. It's new, and um, I'll continue the rest of this on the next one, because sentences, they're not working for me today, I don't know why. Okay, what I was trying to say is, it's weird how you've been friends with someone for five years minimum, and once high school's over, like, I'm glad it's over, because I don't like it very much, I've said that multiple times, but... It's weird to think that I'm not going to, like, um, I'm going this way, why don't I just follow the coins, and then I have less percentage of death. Ah, oh, sorry, I'm going this now. I can't see what I'm doing. Why the hell have I done this? This was very stupid. It's weird to think that, I don't know. In our group, a sort of like friendship group in high school, the people who we saw like and hung around with on a regular basis, there was about 15 of us. And I'm probably going to stay in contact with four of them. I mean, some of them aren't going to be missed. It's sort of, we didn't have much in common other than high school, so it's not one of the Good, got it. It's just... I don't know. I think it's, oh god, oh god, camera angle! It... I don't know, it's, I think that if you leave high school and there isn't even one person who you can, who you want to see outside of school and want to hang around with... Like, I've got four people who I went to cinema with and go-karting day after. And if you can't leave with just one person you want to see, then you've not done well. Woo! 
Anyway, enough about that. It's just some stuff I've been thinking about. I thought maybe just discuss it on camera instead of all my comments for being, you know. I don't. Oh, I think. I don't even know how, what words to describe my commentary as. Anyway, this Shadow Mario can be kind of annoying because you're going to run on these catwalk thingies. It's best to stand at a distance and squirt in. That's where you can do the most amount of damage. Well, you can do a lot before... I'm actually not sure if you can kill him before he gets into these. Where the hell is he gone? Is that another bit? Oh, where the hell's he gone? Oh, frick me, he's standing on the end of this one, isn't it? Look how observant I am. Ah, you would be that way, wouldn't you? Why can't you run closer towards me so I can kill you faster? Please! I'm using manners! Yeah. Come on. Okay, this is one I'm doing worst on so far. Well, to be fair, I've done quite a lot of them well. How much mo- How much many hits? How many more hits are you going to take before you hit the floor and whine about losing? I'm starting to get on my nerves. Okay, I'm literally hitting you right now. Why are you not dead? The only problem is, finally! Jeez, that took, that's the longest it's ever took. The problem is with running around on catwalks and spraying him is he's likely to fall off. And it's annoying getting my cut. But that doesn't matter because we just collected the shine! Yoshi's Fruit Adventure. Ooh boy does this one give people hell. This one, some people consider to be the hardest one. I'm not going to say it's easy, but I wouldn't say it's the hardest. There's one coming up in like the last full world they have to do, which I think most people would say is the hardest one. Which is just 10 times worse. What the hell just happened there? Anyway, so this one, I'm gonna probably gonna cut some stuff out because Yoshi wants a durian and you have to ground pound on these things to get him fruit. And this can either take 5 seconds or 5 hours. So, banana. Yeah, I'll start cutting stuff out now. Okay, good, we got a durian. And then the fourth piece of fruit we got. That's not bad considering. The only problem is though, every time Yoshi hits the water, as you oh god no. As you may know, he dies and then you have to come back and you have to collect the durian all over again. So my plan is don't die. Okay, hang on a moment. Yes. That is my dog. I have a pet dog and I'm on the third floor in a room and with the door closed, you can still hear her bark. That's how loud it is. I suppose I'm gonna talk about this while we're riding on these platforms. I'm doing some quick epic dancing. Do, 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 do. Um, my dog barks so loud and she does it in such a high pitch. Oh goodness me. Platforms right now. Okay. Very quickly, you just want to come up here and eat the coconut. And jump back on the platform. I can't see where it is! Oh thank goodness. Because the purple platforms move in one direction, the pink ones move upwards. So you can mix this ten times easier. As long as you don't overzealously like do a unnecessary spin jump or anything, you should be okay. Anyway, my dog barks so loud, once she sees another dog, she'll just start barking really loud. And it's such a high pitch that it literally causes me headaches. I think there's a way you can glitch through the gate, like the shine of Yoshi, but I'm not. Okay, fine, instead. I'm not up for using glitches, so I'm just gonna collect the shine the required way. Shine! And I suppose, really quickly, we can go get the rocket novel from Shadow Mario. All I've got left to do in Rico Harbor is the 100 coins and the 30 blue coins. But I don't know how long this video has been going on for. I would say the montages themselves last about um, two or three minutes, both of them, maybe three or four. Depending on how quickly I speed them up before it looks bad. 
And I don't get it, with the last one, for some reason, like the preview of it, showed the blue box in the top right corner, but for some reason when I rendered it, it wasn't in the top right corner anymore, it was like, I'll try and fix that, but I'm not sure if I can make it, I don't know what's wrong with it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, and I don't know what's broke. I might not be able to fix it. Oh, you bitch, I knew you were going to do that. But I thought you were going to go back on the other... Anyway, so I'm going to save the 100 coins and 30 blue coins for the next episode. Just because, I don't know how long this one will be going on for the stuff I've put out. Maybe not that long, but... Anyway, rocket nozzle. You press it and you jump really, really high. Like, ridiculously high. And this one's not as fun to play around with just because it takes a while to charge and it can be really annoying to use. You know what, sod it. I'll go do the 130 blue coins now. Wish me luck. Okay, let's start with 30 blue coins. When doing the 30 blue coins for Rupert Harbour, you can collect 26 blue coins in Mission 8. Three will require you to go to Mission 1, and the final one is in Mission 2. These blue coins are fairly well hidden and can take a while to find. Fortunately, this world contains no beehives and blue birds, so you don't have to worry about them. And if you collect them in the order that I am, you can collect them all in a short amount of time without having to backtrack. Mission 3 is the ideal one for collecting 100 coins in Rico Harbour as it contains lots of coins on the catwalk and lying about in random areas. You can collect about 100 coins by going in the pipes and exploring every different path, whilst the rest can be found on the catwalks. Also, try not to rely on killing the bloopers of coins as they may fall off the edge and become unobtainable. But apart from that, you shouldn't encounter any more problems. Thanks for watching, I've been going the sheep, see you next time, goodbye.